Hey guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this wild out Wednesday. I am doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings. And thank you for the love and support and coming to see what I'm doing on my channel. And many blessings are let yet to come. And thanks for the love again. And if this is your returning sub of coming back by, thank you so much, fam, for showing your love and support and love and light and many blessings to you, too. And namaste. And thank you for the love and support. Guys, I'm back and I'm better. You know, I said I needed a break, but I can't stay away from you guys too long. It's just I love I love being able to interact with you guys. And, you know, just, you know, going on, I like to, for you guys to be on the on my journey with me on the path of healing and making yourself become a better person. And it's just like, I was going through so much, you know, like I said, this is my first year of knowing everything about me and my father. Well, most that I know about me and my father. Today, I'm listening to the Neo Soul uh, instrumental. I'll go ahead and put that down. It's for 2017. It just got me really uplifted. You know, usually I put the meditation, you know, music on, but I was just too hyped up. And I'm just like, look, you know, um, I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling recharged and everything. It was just like, I just think I really did not want to come out making videos trying to take a front because that's not me. You know, if I'm feeling a certain kind of way enough in my feelings about something, I'm not going to make a video. Because I'm not trying to push that out on anybody. It's just like when you come to my channel, I try to be as positive as I can. But there, I mean, there's times you guys have seen me in my pissed off moments. And you guys have seen me like in my emotional moments. But that was, you had to see that because I'm human. Just like everybody else. We have our days where we're happy. And you know, you want to share that love with other people. And there's times that you feel vulnerable and you got to share that too. Because you, you never know, the next person might be going through that. So it's just like when I seen this post the other day that was put up. And I asked my friend, can I use their that thumbnail because I really liked it. It had Lisa Lopez and it was this other um, figure and they were, you know, they're pulling their shirt apart, like opening up their heart. And it said, you know, doesn't matter who doesn't believe you or, you know, who's not there for you as long as you believe in yourself and you're, you know, you're there for yourself. That's all that matters. You know, I added a little extra to that, but it wasn't really all what it said. But that's really true. And it's just it's like I wasn't giving up on my situation, but it just became very overwhelming at the time. And it was just like things was following me and, it, you know, following right behind it back to back to back. And I was just overwhelmed. And I just did not honestly, guys, didn't want, want to make a video, you know, with me pushing out that kind of, you know, energy out with people, you know, because it's just like. You know, seeing a lot of people, I was happy for people to, you know, be with their families and stuff like that. But it was just like with me knowing everything that I knew because I've always wanted to know who my family was. But it was just like with the confusion with my family, you know, they, you know, they kept up this charade or whatever. And so it was just like I never knew where I came from. But then my mom used to tell me stuff, too, but they would make sure I did not remember certain things like that. So it's just like you know, going through so much, and it's just like, when I tell people my life story, they just look at me like, you know, girl, you have really been through some stuff, and I'm surprised, you know, you're not, you haven't hurt yourself or anything like that, and it was just like, when you strength is all you have, that's all you have, you know, and it, it, it's just like, you know, I had to not be hard on myself, I had, you know, when, when it comes times when you're overwhelmed, especially doing a YouTube, you know, you're doing it, being a YouTube vlogger, it can, especially when you're doing videos like this, it can suck the energy out of you. And it, it's like you have to regenerate yourself. And it was just like, I was putting on too much for myself. And it was just like getting, and then you're getting all different energies from different people and you're already overwhelmed. And it was just like, you know what? Look, I had to take a break. I had to take a break. But it was just like, I felt stuck for a minute. And it was just like, what do I say? What do I do? You know, and it's just like, just take care of yourself. You need some me time. You know, you've been out there, you know, you're, you're sending blessings and love and light to a lot of people that, you know, that might need it that day or, you know, they just stopped by. And it's just like, now I'm starting to have these different subs that comes in. And I'm just like, oh, wow, you know, 
and they they tell me how good of a job and I'm doing and you know that the videos I'm doing are very positive and you know they need more people out there like me and it's just like yo they they do and there's some out there it's just they probably aren't known yet or they just didn't have that courage to want to step out yet but it was just you know with me I just had to hear you don't give up you know things might be hard right now because you know this is a time that you should be with your family and be able to be rejoiceful and, and stuff like that happens. But there's always a time for everything. And, you know, and it's just like you, I had to be able to let go of things, you know, it's just like with my family and the things that they've done. And, you know, I had to let go of that, you know, even though it's just like I had to watch this video this morning and it was just like, you know, my family basically punished me because either I act like my dad I look like my dad or I did certain things that he did and it was just like I had to really let go of that and I thought I did but it's just like you know the people that talk to me they just can't believe that my family did that or whatever because it's just like you know there's always two sides to every story and it was just like when I wrote, wrote my book I put I went into depth about the things that I really went through and that's why I just can't wait until my book comes out so it's just a lot of people it's just not you know saying okay this is Prince daughter and she went through a lot of things it's just to open up your heart and minds knowing that you might go through something so detrimental but we have to be able to let go of that so these people won't have power over you don't block your blessings holding you this hatred towards them because I didn't realize when you're holding hatred and, and, and anger about people that's actual karma too so it's just that I had to let that go you know even though they think that, that they they've done you know they lived off my inheritance and you know and I had to go through all this and you know and that's fine you know because it's just when you know you're able to let go of things that you know it can see seem so unforgivable it's just I had to take that power back and it was just like having to go through all that and it was just like I guess it came in right around the you know with the Christmas holidays and making me think about these things like why do I have to go through this you know it could be so simple and they you know it could be so simple but it's not simple for them if they already know the repercussions for it so it you know it it is just I had to be able to let all this stuff go you know, and then staring in the face of the devil every day, <laughs> you know, you have to be able to let that go because it's just like when people, when you put, you, it is, you have to, I, I've seen a post that I put up and it's just like, when you put out, be, be careful and mindful about the things you put out because that's why I try to put out as much positive things, you know, even though we can say things in a midst of anger and that's why you got to be very mindful of the things that you say you know, because I had to ask God for forgiveness on the things that I popped off and said to him after he did what he did. But, you know, and it's just like, because you don't know that could, you know, backfire and get you. So you have to ask for forgiveness for that and just let go. And it's just like, but it has a funny way of repeating itself. So it's just like, even when people are doing, especially when you're dealing with narcissistic abuse of people and they're going out their way to hurt you you know you can't take it personal even though it's happening to you is that that's how they feel about themselves they'll make you you know you look crazy or just having people believe them and stuff like that just to you know downplay what you know they do to take the, the pressure off of them and I had to really realize it's just like I'm not gonna be in this situation forever you know it's for me to learn off of it to learn to let it go because I already know when once everything is out I'm gonna have to deal with all different type of crazy stuff so if I can deal with stuff like this being in my face I should be able to deal with the outside world too so guys it's just like you know when you when you're feeling overwhelmed especially with it when it comes to the holidays just take a break especially if you're a vlogger like you know me and other people just take a break you know other people can understand it's just like you know it was hard I, i'm not gonna even go on live if you guys got any recent i'm gonna try but if you guys got any recent like christmas stuff i might not you know even look at those it's like it's kind of hard for me to do but I will try my best to do that, you know, just to say, you know, hey, I can't come by to show love, you know, have 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 a have a, ho have a happy holidays, you know. 
but it's just like right now I'm I'm feeling good, but it's just like you know, it's it's going to be a day by day process. You know, it's like the first year is always the hardest. So it's just like, you know, one day at a time cuz I know things are going to get better. I see signs all the time. It's just, you know, when you're you're missing your loved ones, it's kind of sad. So but like I said, you guys continue to pray for me and I love the prayers that y'all been sending out and stuff like that. And I will continue to pray for you because, you know, we're going to go through some things. But you know what? It's a day by day basis. You know, there's always another day for you to start all over again. So don't be hard on yourself. And I have to tell myself that also don't be hard on yourself. Because if you're trying to better yourself, that's all the universe asks you to do. It's just just to try. And it, it, it'll, be, it'll start becoming easier and easier every day. So I will talk to you guys later. Much love to you and many blessings. And please like and subscribe. And if you feel comfortable, please drop me a line. I love positive feedback. And I will talk to you later. And be wild.